Hey, Orange One here. So we're pretty much back where we left off. I uh, did grab uh, some things and put it back in the car and did all that. Um, but we're going to keep on pushing in like we've been doing and see what we find. Okay, that's nothing uh, particularly great. But yeah, I think... Yeah, I just gave myself a little uh, note as to where I ended the episode because this is getting a little bit confusing. I've spent so much time in labs in-game that I can't tell what is what anymore and i'm sure you guys are getting the same watching this like the the lab has to be one of my favorite biomes but it also can be very difficult to navigate you know um what happened here that's strange well if we wanted to get sewage there's uh sewage right here um so i don't so this emp blast that's over there uh there's sewage that's here yeah, I kind of want to be steering clear of that side, I think. Oh, look, there's there's a juggernaut. That would explain things. Um, yeah, so we're going to want to shoot that. Can I just r run up the hallway a little bit? Yeah. We're just going to... I mean, I'm not too worried about it because these things aren't the worst of enemies. But they're also... They're formidable. Um, they're just kind of... They, they take a lot of ammo, is the thing, you know? They're just kind of slow, so it's it's really easy to just wear them out like this. Yeah, okay, so let's just run up the hall a little bit. I'm going to have an issue, though, when we run out of the, the bullets that we're using, because... Um, Um, can I get actually that back into this? Just stash that, just so we got a little bit more storage capacity, right? Okay, so that guy's been pulled. Um, I like being able to hear, just because me personally, it's it helps me. You know, it's all it's always hard because like I was um watching another YouTuber and it's like, it's really hard for to kind of hear uh, the game audio and it's just like kind of them talking. And I don't know. I need to, I need to have some, some sci-fi effects when I'm, I'm playing my sci-fi game, you know? I need to hear like some whooshes and some synthesizers, come on, right? I, I do realize that I'm also not opening up any of the crates, and those could have some really good things. I, I don't know how good of things they can have in them, though, so I'm not sure how much I'm really missing out on it. Uh, is this where the EMP blast is? Yeah, the EMP blast was, like, up there somewhere. Okay, so I just need to be kind of aware there might be something giving off, like, an EMP. And I could lose, like, my power here. Oh, look at this. I also was watching a little bit of Critzy Bear, and he was um, doing stuff in... Um, it was like a lab start, I think. So, like, this, basically, you know? Um, but as a starter character. Yeah, there's... I think there might be something over on the other side of these doors. Um, an ant... A couple ants. Okay. That's not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Um, just kind of curious though. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, visible. Oh, jeez. What just happened there? There's the robotic cop. And are they both attacking me? No, it looks like they're attacking each other. Uh, I th I'm just going to close that. And no enemies in range. I guess they're not in range then. Okay. Interesting. Robotic cop. Yep. Uh, refuses to acknowledge me as an ally. Oh, great. There's the robot cop over there. Um, I am... I heard an explosion. Uh... This could be a problem. I don't know where that 
heli drone or the robot cop is. But I suspect they're uh, one of them is definitely still alive. I just don't know if both of them are. And if both of them are, how I'm going to deal with it. It looks to me, though, like the heli drone may have been blown up from what I'm seeing here. I'm going to put safety mode on, so if I do see them, the game will tell me. Okay, it looks like we're maybe in the clear. I don't know, where did they go? Honestly, like, where did they go? I think the robot cop is, like, maybe in this little room. Can I see the robot cop here? No. What happened to that robot cop? I'm, I'm honestly so confused right now. They must have, like, gone downstairs or something. Oh, look, there's... Oh, maybe a grenade went off. Yeah, I think uh, the, the heli drone must have, like, sent a grenade or something. Okay, well, that was intriguing, to say the least. South, I'm hearing whack. Uh, that does make me a little bit nervous, because I don't know what it is that's doing the whacking, but I think it probably is ants, seeing how they tend to do that, you know? Okay, there's definitely ants just north of us. Hello. I'm just gonna take a couple steps back and kill you. Don't don't worry, it's fine. Just redecorating a little bit. Oh, uh, well, no one actually survived. Okay, cool. I might. Oh, what's what's that right there? What plant? Are... Oh. <gasps> You guys, we can grow beer. That is like honestly one of the rarest, rarest finds that I've ever had in this game. Is um, hop rhizomes, so we can be like little monks, growing our own beer. Oh man, that's so cool! I want to make my own hop flavored uh, like beverages now, because you can make other things besides beer with hops, and it's not. Not very common that people do that, but you can. Um, yeah, nothing really here. I'm gonna take that battery power though, if it lets me, yep. Sounds good. And then, okay, I think, yeah, our flashlight's good. I think that we've explored like a whole lot of this place. I don't know if there's anywhere else to go down here. I just wanna make sure that we've um, no, we we have not explored it all. There's actually a down there that we should take. And there's an up here as well. Okay. Yeah, there just is so many directions to go in this game, right? I'm hearing whack, which I think means it's probably not a robot or something. Uh, I don't see any other lights in here. Hmm. It's strange. Okay, I think we're gonna have to just kind of go for it. It's just... Um, where was that mechanical whirling coming from? Okay, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Yeah, I think it's like only one or two things in here. Uh, whatever it is, is generating smoke. I probably don't want to deal with that. That's a shame. I just, I get really nervous around things like that, because I, oh, what? What happened there? Did something get shot? From southwest and above, I'm hearing Krakow. So like up here, southwest and above, gun. That's like, in the ant tunnels. Is there someone in the ant tunnels fighting the ants? Krakow. Yeah, what's what's going on up here? Oh, there's a lot of them right there. Um, never mind, guys. 
There was a ton of them right there. Jeez. Uh. Can I just... I'm gonna just keep on moving. I don't know if we're missing out on some really good loot or not, but... I think that we're okay. There's something walking up there. Got my curiosity. Man, I keep on wanting to get, like, a medical mutagen book, and it's not happening. There's a lot of things walking in there. I'm pretty sure it's ants, though. Oh, no, it's blobs. I mean, it's not much different than ants, to be honest. Um, really? Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to actually kill these guys. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to actually kill them. Okay, let's get the Jane out. Yeah. Have a... Bummer, but I think we can melee them. And take them out fairly safely. Yeah. Wow, that went very well, actually. Okay. Very nice. Okay, let's get the gun back out. And I'm actually going to just take a second to draw that. Um, and unload the magazine and reload this just with the spare two magazines. Or two, uh, um, whatchamacallits. You know what I'm saying, right? It just, you know, gives us a few more bullets to work with. Um, yeah, I don't think I really even want to bother with those blobs. Oh, this is just a little gym room. Are these, uh, that's aspirin. Is this, um, yeah, it's a, I thought it might have been like multivitamins or something. That's protein shake that's gone off. Gross. Imagine finding, like, protein shake that's just been sitting there for who knows how long, right? That's, like, so such a gross thought. So I think that must be, like, a turret that's up there, right? Because I didn't go that way on purpose. Hello. What do we have in here? This is a weird little room. Prisoner containment. Eh, it's probably not really got anything that I'm that interested in. I'm, I am curious if I go... Yeah, that's not going to get me close to where that one thing was, right? So... Yeah, okay. I think... Um... I think I might want to try and, and take out the turret that's, that's right up there, unless there's another way up. It's easier. They will probably connect. And that could possibly connect. I mean, it definitely... Um, I was going to say seems easier, but I don't know if it really is. Maybe we should try and take out that turret. Like, if I... If I try and shoot them from, like, way down here... Like, if I have my flashlight off, and I think that we're going to be able to see them, right? Like, if I were to peek in there. Oh, is there is there no turret here? Okay. Alright. That's, that's kind of strange. I just kind of left this area unexplored. Oh my god, that is a lot of them. Let's, uh, let's, let's just, um, take a, a moment. <laughs> Good God. I think I want to get more distance between me and you. Are they going to knock those down? I'm, yeah, I had a feeling they would. Well, at least I got a little bit more distance between me and them, right? I think we can peg them just fine. They might even start turning away in fear. I don't know. It looks like they are not turning away in fear. 
Though, like, a lot of them have just been <laughs> sniped. Okay, there we go. Oh, that one took two shots. Congratulations. Okay, now they're starting to run away. Yeah, they're not all idiots. Oh, there, there was the ant queen that was, like, stuck in there. That's what was going on. No wonder, like, every available tile was taken up by a soldier. Oh, you're grabbing me? Uh, what? Is that my friendly turret? Yeah, oh, that's my friendly turret. I have a friendly turret. Um, it's not shooting them, though. Just kind of weird. Are you running away from me? Kind of weird. Are they, or are they running away from the turret? I think they're running away from the turret. <laughs> they're not afraid of me. They're afraid of the turret. Yeah, I think... Oh, man. Um, that's, that's a problem. Having all of those eggs there. If I try and drag... Um, something... That doesn't destroy the items. I need to uh, find some way of destroying all those eggs. That's that's like seriously a crazy problem. Oh, there's a barracks here. If I wait, are there any? No, there are not anything coming from it out of there. Okay, yeah, go ahead and unlock that. Oh no, it shut down. Uh, do I want to jump over? If we do, let's make sure. I think I'm not hearing anything. I think it's safe on the other side. We're gonna go for it. Uh, um, whoops, maybe I shouldn't have done that. There's a Kevlar Hulk. I think we need to take out the Kevlar Hulk first. Um, definitely this is gonna hurt, but it's, I'm pretty sure we'll survive. As long as there's not like a ton of other zombies that are more powerful waiting for us. Uh, Kevlar Hulk, I think I can... Maybe outrun? I don't know. <clears throat> we'll let him get close, though. And then we'll we'll do the, the spray and pray. That's pretty good. We'll let that aim get a little bit better. Okay, he's, he's pretty much dead. And that... It sounds like our bullets then destroyed some items. It's fine, though. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Um, and we even got some bullets out of it. I mean, we, I think it's the wrong type of bullet, so it's not going to help us much. But that's something that I've found is that those guys pretty much always uh, drop. Um, Is this... Yeah, this is actually what I want. I don't know why that's not... put away somewhere. That's kind of weird. Um, sorry. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, there's so much Kevlar here. We could probably uh, take, like, this and a couple other things. Actually, there's not really that much Kevlar. There's a couple things there, right there, that have Kevlar in them. Yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to get that. And honestly, uh, the most Kevlar that I'm going to find is going to be in, like, this area. And it's, like, clean as well. Uh, that, you know, there's, there could be some interesting things in here. I'm going to just take all the bullets because role-playing-wise, you would, you know? You're not going to leave a gun and bullets just, like, on the floor here. You might leave some magazines, but, like, explosives? You kidding me? You're taking that. I might just grab one of these Molly backpacks and take that with us. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully we can hack our way in, but to because I don't think we want to um, teleport into this other room. Wow, this area got destroyed. <gasps> James Mortar and Rockets. That'll give us the... I, I've been wanting that for a while, actually. Um... Because if you're unaware, you can use that for... Whatchamacallit? Oh, we could maybe even... If there's a robot in here, we might be able to hack it. Um, We got damaged by electrical shock. I really don't care that much about that. 
It's uh, temporarily blocked. Maybe there's no enemies in range, so I think that means that there must not be a turret in there, right? Isn't that what that means? Oh, there's a bayonet manual. Cool. Let's take uh, those bullets out as well. Cool. I am... Yeah, I think that we will grab some of that stuff. Maybe I'll read the books, though, and then we'll try and hack uh, this, though. Yeah, just read a little bit. It's fine. Launchers to three. I wonder what we can use once we have launchers at three. Oh, and bashing to three? You know, these books actually could really help out our, our Minotaur character. Yeah, there should be, if there's no nothing coming up on the control laptop, I think that means that there's nothing in here, right? Pretty sure that's what that means. Oh no! I quantum tunneled through something I did not mean to quantum tunnel through. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't realize I still had that on. <laughs> um, if we're going to Quantum Tunnel, we're going to need to wait. Let's just wait like five minutes and then we'll see if uh, if the computer's going to let us try again. No. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's telling me that there's nothing in here. I think that we're safe trying to teleport in. I'll wait just a little bit longer though, just so that we got our power back up to max. And our health on our arm and leg, that's not going to make a difference. If we get shot, we get shot, you know? Okay, let's keep that on and probability travel. Um, just making sure that I have enough power to get through as well. Yes, we do. Okay, cool. We just need to make sure that we don't get stuck here without any battery power. Oh, you know, I should probably grab the backpack. Oh, man, I should have grabbed the backpack before I did this so that I could bring this stuff back. Um, well, let's have a, just a look at things. I think that this... I'm not sure. Uh, that's an H&K magazine, so that actually is what we've been carrying a, a ton around. Um... Let's trace around. Let's let's just have a look at everything just again. I mean, to be honest, actually, I'm not feeling like I want to take a whole lot of this stuff anyways. Now that I, I actually take my time and look at it, you know? I mean, that is a pretty sweet shotgun. But we don't really need it. You know? Uh, Flechette shells. Sure, we'll take those. Why is it telling me... Like, it's saying that I'm trying to pick up only a certain number of things. But I'm not sure why. I'm not just picking up the whole stack. Because I'm using the arrow keys, like the sideways arrow key. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It's kind of weird. Um, There is some flechette rounds in there that I kind of want. Oh, what, what did I drop there? I don't really want the magazine. I just kind of want, yeah, these things if I can. No? Not going to let that happen. Uh, what could I leave here? Honestly, I have so many thermoses. I could leave the thermos and that would be fine. I'd totally be fine with that. And anything else that I'm, I have, like... Plenty of spares of. Yeah, I mean the nails we don't really need, but I don't think that really gives you any space as well. And the first aid kit is tempting, but I don't think we're going to get it. Ooh, uh, caseless rounds. I'll take those. If you let me. Um, let's see, what do I want to drop? We have so much stuff right now. There's a lot of things that we could be dropping. Um, we didn't want that, that, or that. 
I don't think. Cool, so that means I did want that, I did want that, and I think I wanted that too, right? Not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure it's a good call. Can I just put that in my inventory? I can. Okay, so what do I want to take in my hands then? And it is tempting to just take this Rivitech gun, because it is a Rivitech gun. It's a really super amazing gun, it, but it's just kind of like... You're never gonna use it, right? Yeah, I think we're just gonna leave that. I'll take the bullets mostly for their novelty. In fact, that's easy for us to take. Um, actually, I think I'm also gonna just grab that first aid kit. We have tons of them. So I know that I'm being wasteful, but... Eh, whatever. We'll just get our power back. Cool. Um, oh, Harvey's getting angry. I guess we're in the same reality bubble as him still. He must be like, oh, wait, Harvey's like over there. He's pretty far away from me. That's kind of weird. I got that message. Uh, let's turn that off. We don't really need it on anymore. And then we should be able to wait here and then get out of here. But before we do that, let's get... Um, like Molly backpacks just loaded of stuff. Uh, I think I want to just honestly just rip up all of the gear that's gonna have Kevlar in it. And we'll just take the Kevlar patches, right? Cut up everything. And then eight Kevlar patches, that's perfect. See, if we do that just like a few times... Um, yes, I do want to do that, because the vest, I think, has some Kevlar in it. Yeah. Oh, no, it's just synthetic fabrics. Okay. Well, I think just from what I've seen so far, we're going to have plenty. Plenty of Kevlar from here to get that Kevlar vest made for our uh, Minotaur friend here. Okay, helmet... I think the backpacks themselves are Kevlar, right? Yes, they are. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I think that... I think that just those two alone is the Kevlar that I needed. That's crazy. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be cutting up all this stuff because we could use it to make more survivor gear for other survivors, but we haven't really found other survivors, so I'm not, like, I'm not really swaying it too much. You know? I think we've got a pretty good gang. Okay, we are starting to get weighed down now. And we can carry it all, but we're getting weighed down. Which is not really that big of an issue, because we have kind of cleared out the surrounding area. God, we're going to have so much Kevlar when we're done with this barracks. This is awesome. Like, honestly. Uh, cut everything, yep. I know we just cut up, like, a ton of wood I didn't need to, but I just didn't want to do the button click, if I'm completely honest. Let's just wait a little bit longer... Um, 250, that should be enough to get me across, right? Yay! Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm so afraid that one day I'm just gonna forget to do that. Yeah, just eat as many as, of these as you can. Um, if I try and pick those up, how many does it let me? Destination is full. Okay, well, I can't even t uh, pick those up. Uh, I'm not sure where that goes up at, so I'm just gonna take my gun and go up over here. Wait, uh, oh, that's our friendly turret, right? Cool. Yeah, let's go up here. And then die. And where was the upstairs from here? I've, I like, honestly... I'm so confused as to what is where. Okay, there. I kind of remember this. Then I think maybe it might be the other lab that we were in that I'm remembering. Though that's probably kind of like how Nosh lives his life. 
like kind of knowing where he's at knowing what's important for what he's trying to do but just generally being confused is natural to him oh man okay that one's down yeah these guys have really taken over this lab kind of insane it kind of is fun though to be honest there's a part of me that enjoys fighting all of them because they make a challenge and then there's a part of me that's like why god why <laughs> um can i no 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 hold on stash the one that's on the floor there yeah i want to just get out of here just get out of we're super overweight oh you're gonna make a run for it yeah that's what i thought um is someone attacking my friend what's going on out there hello what's going on out here guys uh, you got a soldier ant. And I think that you're you're just asleep. You're like not even aware it's attacking you. Yeah, go ahead and, and hit it, please. Did the uh, pupil things move there? What, what happened there? Hello. Okay. It looks like we're good. Right? Yeah, the pupil sack, I don't know. Was I hallucinating that? Was that not actually there? I think I might have been hallucinating it. Okay, so, yeah, we are back in the car. Um, let's just take a minute to get that battery power back up. Like we've been doing. Yeah, okay, so we're back at full battery uh, power. And, yeah, we've got a ton of stuff in here. A ton, a ton of good loot. I'm gonna just end this here though. Man, I I'm having a blast exploring these labs. Um, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And I hope next episode I get that medical mutagen. We'll see. I'm gonna keep on going and doing labs till I get that, basically. <laughs> Alright, well thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.